Hey guys, what's up? Hope that you're doing great. Welcome to another video reaction. Today we're going to watch Troy from 2004, directed by Wolfgang Peterson and starring actors really famous such as Brad Pitt, Orlando Bloom, and Eric Bana. As far as I have heard, this is another great war genre movie starring Brad Pitt and Orlando Bloom. I know them from many other movies. Orlando Bloom, for example, from Pirates of the Caribbean, which is one of the movies that I have already watched. Not with you, as in I have already watched it before I even had this channel. And I simply loved him acting in uh, that movie. I also loved Brad Pitt in several of his movies, which some have been watched along with you and some others I have watched them as well. Before before I would even have this channel. Eric Bana, on the other hand, is kind of a new actor for me, but obviously that is pretty normal, you know, considering that my level of cinema info is pretty low. Anyways, everyone, I can only say that I'm super excited to watch this movie. I think that it's gonna be great. Unfortunately, perhaps some people are gonna get disappointed by this, but I do feel that I need to say it. I didn't manage to find the director's cut version, you know, to watch it along with you guys. So this is the theatrical version that I will be watching tonight. With this being said, everyone, let's go right ahead and I hope that you enjoy. Wait, you gotta be kidding me. I think there's a meme from the scene. Let's settle this war in the old manner. Your best fighter against my best. Boagrius! They're all Boagrius? Oh no, 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 okay. For a moment I thought that it was a way of saying all my men are good. Where's yours? Achilles is not with the army. Where is he? I sent a boy to look for him. What the hell? Is he asleep? Yes. Very asleep. And had lots of fun. <laughs> I was having a good dream. Yeah, but you got a battle to attend. Speak to your king in the morning. It oh, Lord, it is morning. They're waiting for you. Hi. <clears throat> How you do? Oh. Two, not three. Oh, oh. You true. <laughs> I would say two, not one. <laughs> but I thought they were three in total. The biggest man I've ever seen. I wouldn't want to fight him. That's why no one will remember your name. Oh, you just burnt a kid. You know that? Imagine a king who fights his own battles. Wouldn't that be a sight? He has a lot of guts. All the warlords loved by the gods. I hate him the most. <laughs> But he does a dirty job for you. He said it. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Goodbye. Is there no one else? There wasn't even a fight. The ruler of Thessaly carries this scepter. Give it to your king. He's not my king. But you fought for him. <laughs> oh, God. oh my God. Who? He shouldn't be here. That's what you said last night. <laughs> it was a mistake. Do you want me to go? She's gonna do a mistake again. Well. It's normal. Usually in those times, you weren't getting married with the person that you loved. You were getting married as a, an agreement between two kingdoms. So yeah, being in love with someone else, that was, that was pretty normal. You don't have to fear tomorrow. Come with me. Ho ho! <laughs> the queen. Till the day they burn my body, I will love you. That's beautiful. A beautiful morning. Poseidon has blessed our voyage. Sometimes the gods bless you in the morning and curse you in the afternoon. <laughs> Do you love me, brother? Would you protect me against any enemy? Oh, no. What have you done now? Huh. I think I know. I must show you something. Oh, gosh, she took the queen. You took the queen, isn't it? That 
the things we do for love. She left with the Trojans. The fisherman here saw her board their ship. She left voluntarily. Tell me, little brother, have you ever killed a man? No. Ever seen a man die in combat? No. You say you want to die for love, but you know nothing about dying, and you know nothing about love! I am sorry to say that his brother has a point. He did a big mistake. An old friend? I want her back. Well, of course you do. She's a beautiful woman. I want her back so I can kill her with my own two hands. I thought you wanted peace with Troy. I should have listened to you. Peace is for the women and the weak. <laughs> I always thought my brother's wife was a foolish woman, but she's proved to be very useful. <laughs> to start the war. If Troy falls, I control the Aegean. Hector commands the finest army in the east. So Troy is the last thing that you need to conquest. Send emissaries in the morning. One last thing. We need Achilles and his myrmidons. Where is Achilles? I build the future, Nestor. Me! Oh. Achilles is the past. The man who fights for no flag. Yes, that's true. This will be the greatest war the world has ever seen. We need the greatest warrior. There's only one man he'll listen to. And that's the one who has been trying to convince you, isn't it? Never hesitate. Who's this boy? Nervous? Petrified. <laughs> Your reputation for hospitality is fast becoming legend. <laughs> Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones. I'm so happy when I started discovering people. We need to talk. I will not fight for him. I'm not asking you to fight for him. Oh yes, that's why you're exactly for. They insulted Greece. They insulted one Greek, a man who couldn't hold on to his wife. What business is that? <laughs> well, the rumors fly fast, that's true. We sail for Troy in three days. This war will never be forgotten. Nor will the heroes who fight in it. Oh wow, the, s the sea is so beautiful. I swear to God, I loved it. I love it. If you go to Troy, you won't return. No, you will never come home. For your glory walks hand in hand with your doom. Is she a fortune teller or something? He decided to go. For fame and glory! In a way, I guess your mother agrees with it and made made peace for her mind about about the situation. She definitely must be some sort of fortune teller. You know, something like the oracles from um, the Spartan movie 300, with the only difference that she was not corrupted when telling things. Are you hiding the queen? No, they're not! In plain sight! There she is! She's mine! I'm here because I wanted her to be with me. Everyone is asking what the hell is going on. Oh, oh, oh. Look. <laughs> oh. Apollo watches over us. Even Agamemnon is no match for the gods. And how many battalions does the sun god command? Do not mock the gods. Oh. Am I a bad person if I say that I completely understand his fears? No more palaces for us, no more servants. We don't need any of that. And your family? We'd be protecting my family. You'll track us to the end of the world. Girl, you're speaking like if you had time to choose, you've made your choice already. I'll walk right up to him and tell him you're mine. Wow. If you truly do that, those are some guts. I'm sorry, but she's preoccupied about something that she knew it was going to happen if she would leave. Even Paris said that this is not gonna be easy and everybody will follow them, so honey, gotta find the best solution. Worrying is not the answer. And Paris's father seems to be an angel. Very comprehensive, very caring. I think he would be capable, you know, of accepting any woman for, for his sons, regardless of who they are. He understands the purpose of love, you know, and the importance of it. You know, good of a team you can make if you truly love each other. Black sail. It's Achilles. He's going to take the beach of Troy with 50 men? He's going hard. That's what she said. Or he said. 50 men on each boat and you have 1,000 boats. That means 50,000 men. 
Crazy. There we go. Doesn't look like there is a plan. Okay. Now that they're together, they're doing a little bit better. I feel so bad, you know, that this war had to start. Perhaps this could have been solved in a political way and nobody had to die. Roll your leg in <laughs> Sorry. But I, I just love the enthusiasm, you know, of that man for, for his people. It, it was moving and touching, not gonna lie. He did that on purpose or he actually knew that he was going to get a shot, you know, from behind. <laughs> Too many innocent men dying for the love of two. Apollo sees everything. Perhaps it is not wise to offend him. That's what he thinks about gods. <gasps> oh god. It's a trap. He's a killing machine. You are very brave and very stupid to come after me alone. You must be Hector. And he's so innocent. He was preoccupied for this to happen. Why did you come here? They'll be talking about this war for a thousand years. In a thousand years, the dust from our bones will be gone. <laughs> yes, Prince, but our names will remain. Mm -hmm. Necessarily. You speak of war as if it's a game. But how many wives wait at Troy's gates for husbands they'll never see again? Perhaps your brother can comfort them. <gasps> and he's good at charming other men's wives. Oh, Jesus. That's another burn. Yikes. It's too early in the day for killing princes. Oh, his men are dead. They're screwed. You're as fearless as the gods. I'm honored to go to war with you. You're excited. As am I. <laughs> he needed to shake the hands. The men found her hiding in the temple. Oh. They thought she'd um amuse you. <laughs> You're royalty, aren't you? Spent years talking down to men. You must be royalty. I think she's the cousin. I didn't recognize her at first. The kings are gathering to celebrate the victory. You fought well today, my lord. What do you want here in Troy? He, I, honestly, he doesn't want anything, just fame and power. Oh, fame and glory, sorry. I like this detail, you know, that in the background you can actually hear the people talk and I think that they are talking in the language that they were supposed to talk, you know? I don't know my how victory, my king of kings. true is my statement, but you know, the fact that it was not in English, I think that's a nice detail. You came here because you want your name to last through the ages. Yeah. A great victory was won today, but that victory is not yours. Huh. I'll build monuments to victory on every island of Greece. I'll carve Agamemnon in the stone. Be careful, King of Kings. First, you need the victory. Whoa. Your men sacked the Temple of Apollo, yes? You want gold? Take it. It's my gift to honor your courage. Take what you wish. <laughs> Afarius! Hemon! They took the girl. Tonight, I'll have her give me a bath. And then, who knows? You sack of wine! <laughs> All my time is done. I will look down on your corpse and smile. He warned you. Mr. King who doesn't even know how to fight. Get ready. I was surprised that Achilles actually cared about rubies. Can we win this war? Our walls have never been breached. We have the finest archers in the world. And we have Hector. Oh. Hector was about to die. Hector came alone. This is not a conflict of nations. It is a dispute between two men. And I don't want to see another Trojan die because of me. Paris! Well, well, well. Tomorrow morning, I will challenge Menelaus for the right to Helen. The winner will take her home. The loser will burn before nightfall. I don't think he will accept that. That's not gonna be enough for him. He wants to burn your whole place down just so you can feel the pain that he felt when he saw that he was being cheated on and humiliated. 100% sure that I'm right. Regardless of what you do and regardless of what you offer him, even your head, Sorry for the pain. he's not gonna have enough. And even less, his great friend who wants to have the idea. The man who killed Hector <gasps> outside Apollo's temple, I've never seen a spear thrown like that. An impossible throw. You're scaring her. The last thing that she needs, you know, is that probably he Don't won't. Go well, she won't see you tomorrow. See? 
knew it. You've been fighting your whole life. Let other men do battle this time. No, I don't want to fight. I want to see my son grow tall. <laughs> Look at that smile. What a beautiful smile. I'm giving myself back to Menelaus. It's too late for that. You think Agamemnon cares about his brother's marriage? Exactly. You're a princess of Troy now. And my brother needs you tonight. What a good and caring family, because even though you are afraid and all the premonitions that you said have become true, you're still a good man. Bless his soul. I fight for you. Who will you fight for when I'm gone? Soldiers, they fight for kings they've never even met. They do what they're told, they die when they're told to die. What are you exactly? They call you Lord. Whoa! Okay! Okay! We have a lot of people as well in, on this side. Don't exactly know how many, but... You sure you want to do this? I started this war. But you won't end it, trust me. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it... Someone did say in the meeting that they had last night that for every one good Trojan, there are two warrior Greeks. <laughs> <laughs> Your number has suddenly become a joke. <laughs> Although it doesn't have to mean anything. You want me to look upon your army and tremble? I see 50,000 men brought here to fight for one man's greed. Yikes. Let me kill him. When he's lying in the dust, give the signal to attack, you'll have your city. I love my revenge. So, a backstab. Brother, if I fall, tell Helen. Tell her. I will. There is not gonna be time to do that. This is not over. And I think Hector knows. Even, even if Harris wins, this won't be over. <laughs> I think here's where the meme is. I knew Agamon was a meme. I knew it. <laughs> yeah! It's about, it's about to appear. Ooh. Oh, there it goes. The meme! <laughs> I guess the movie, but not the moment. I'm sorry, but I know that you're gonna die. Sorry, sorry, but I kind of expected that would happen. The fight is over. It is not over. <sighs> oh. The things you do for your family, Hector. Respect because you're gonna die along with all your Trojans. What he did. Oh, you're so doomed. I don't want Hector to die. He's doing too much for Paris. All of them are doing too much for Paris. Paris doesn't deserve this. What are you doing? <laughs> I love how some people roll over each other. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're going to die. What are you doing it for you? You're, you're doing it for your country. You're, oh my god, Hector, you're such a good man. You don't deserve this. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! This guy's not easy to kill. This is not over. This is not over. Send an emissary to the Greeks. Tell them they can collect their dead. Would they have done the same for us? No. But you're not them. They don't fight because they want to. They fight because they were forced to be here. And that's what makes the difference between you guys. Hector is... Hector is going to be such a great king if he wins this war. Mm. I'm a coward. And sorry to say that you are. I am a coward. I know. We know. All that matters is that you were alive to have one more night. Have one more day with her. They're laughing at me and Troy. Drunk with victory. I <sighs> think I'll sail home at first light. I, I wouldn't celebrate it, honestly. If I were a Trojan, I wouldn't celebrate it. Not even the slightest. Well, even if I couldn't make peace with Achilles, the man won't listen to me. Yeah. It's as likely to spear me as to speak to me. It's surprising. You'll want the girl back. You can have that damn girl. I haven't touched her. Where is she? I gave her to the man. Huh? A virgin's roll! 
You will be needing that for much longer. Hold on. Oh my god. Ooh. Right on time. Take it yourself. <laughs> I, I I understand her. I'm not judging. Don't get me wrong. It's just that the, the scene was funny. The gods envy us. They envy us because we're mortal. You will never be lovelier than you are now. We will never be here again. That's very poetic. I thought you were a dumb brute. <laughs> what are you doing? Seriously. Do it. You think he wasn't aware? You'll kill more men if I don't. Many. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. She's gonna let it happen. <laughs> damn passion, damn attraction, damn love. And she can't kill the only guy who might attempt and actually help Aemon to win Troya. Tell the men to start loading the ship. We're going home. Oh, what? Ithaca cannot afford an enemy like Agamemnon. Agamemnon. Okay, I said Agamon. These are our countrymen. You betray all of Greece just to see Agamemnon fall. Someone has to lose. He is gonna leave. Our walls can't be breached. We'll beat them back again. Yesterday the Greeks underestimated us. We should not return the favor. There. Smart man. I've said it. You're confident about the meaning of these omens. The oh no, 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 no. Gods have cursed the Greeks. Don't listen to a... Prepare the army, we attack at the You lake. are one... Oh my god, no! You don't have anything to lose or to win! Just by staying in your spot. Going at daybreak and fighting them is exactly what Hector said. Is underestimating them. Staying in your spot, not moving, just waiting for them to make a move. You just have to do the same thing you did before. Hit with your archers. Stand your ground. That's it. Oh, of course. They have to do it differently. It's a stupid omen. I'm sorry, I don't agree with the priest or whatever the god he is. Hector does not agree with this. I know he doesn't. And I'm with you, Hector. Damn. You're too smart. Of course he's coming to help. It's exactly what Hector said. It's gonna unify them. They're just a bunch of men, but good enough, you know, to kill many. So Hector, in, yes, in such circumstance, I hope that you made your strategy knowing how good he is. You're messing this. This is not the strategy that I was talking about. You're messing. I'm sorry to say this, but I don't see you with any chance against him. He's not dead yet. He's not dead yet. Finish him. He's a good guy, but finish him or you'll die as well. <gasps> oh. Oh. Why did he do that, poor boy? He confused everyone. Back to the ships! Back to the ships! It was his cousin. You're doomed. Achilles! <laughs> he wasn't even aware. You led them into combat. I didn't lead them, my lord. We thought you did. Your cousin made all this. Because you look alike. Where's Patroclus? Imagine. Patroclus! This is personal. This is personal. Hector's my cousin! He's a good man! Don't fight him! Please don't fight him! Girl, it's his family. I wouldn't mess in family's business. May I remind you that you're sleeping with him instead of going at least warning your family that you're still alive. You're doing it out of love. Well, he has love for his cousin. He doesn't want his cousin to just die like this. In uh, Hector's defense, he didn't know that it was his, uh, well, Achilles' cousin. I didn't know. I think nobody knew the first time watching. 
So, uh, it's not Hector's fault. But does that matter for Achilles? Hector! Are you really gonna answer to that? Hector! You know, he's not a king or anything. You can totally stand back. Hector. You're an honorable man, Hector. No father ever had a better son. No. I agree with that. All this because she's in love with Paris. Paris is in love with her. Helen. <sighs> God. You won't have eyes tonight. You won't have ears or a tongue. You will wander the underworld blind, deaf, and dumb, and all the dead will know. This is Hector, the fool who thought he killed Achilles. It was an accident. I'm so sorry. Ooh. They're both good fighters. Achilles, you gotta admit he's good. For some reason, I just assumed that Achilles is gonna kill him. I'm just assuming that. Mm. Oh no! Stupid rock! No! Beaten by a rock? Get out, Prince of Troy. I'm gonna be a very bad person by saying this, but Helen is the last person that I would want to help me or be my confidant at that moment. Cheer me up. He's messing with you, Hector. Oh my god, you know that. Comfort. That was the word I was looking for. Helen is the last person that I want to comfort me if I'm Hector's wife. He died for you, Paris. He died for your damn love. Oh, don't tell me you're gonna bring him to her cousin. <laughs> Go out and see. I think he's gonna say something like that. I have endured what no one on earth has endured before. I kiss the hands of the man who killed my son. He wants to ask you to leave. Give him back to me. He deserves the honor of a proper burial, you know that. He's not even here to ask for him to retire. If I let you walk out of here, if I let you take him, it doesn't change anything. For him it means everything. Perseus? <laughs> he gave you for he dead. Was, he was dead. See? Hear me, Zeus. I will smash their walls to the ground. He is insane. Insane for glory and power. <laughs> we should take it to the Temple of Poseidon. I think we should burn it. Burn it, my prince. It's a gift to the gods. Why don't you shut up with your gods, seriously? But how many people are in there? It's not that they're actually much. You're the prince now. Shut up, Helen. Make your brother proud. Well, he was about to make his brother br proud. Burning it was the best solution. But Helen, seriously. Huh. Ah, yeah. I knew that was gonna happen. Ah. Here's your omen to the gods. This will be the last time that you're gonna listen to the priests. But not because you're gonna have any other chance. So horrible. You're in love with her. I hope the priest watches it and enjoys it. Enjoys his home and how do you feel? I must go. Where? I'll show you. No. Wow. This family is too nice. Okay, quick. I don't hate Helen, but it, it, this is this bittersweet feeling, you know, of all this is happening because of her and she lost her husband for her. It's hurtful. I'm sorry. It's painful. It really is. I wouldn't hate her, but I wouldn't really feel like speaking to her. I'd feel like a hypocrite if I would do that. I'm so sorry. I don't think he was even going to fight. You're a good man, but you trusted the wrong person. This is a tragedy. You be my slave. Well, hello. The king is dead. Long live the king. Perseus, come. Go. Troy's falling. But there is no Go. king anymore. There is no king. 
This entire movie is a is a bittersweet feeling. People are more surprised for his death than the king who's <laughs> right at the other side. <laughs> but he gives to dance for the other king. <laughs> Let them say I lived in the time of Achilles. As I was saying before, close to this end, the movie transmits a bittersweet feeling because the whole movie is based upon love, basically. A love that is prohibited and everything that happens because of such prohibition. You appreciate and even empathize with Paris and Helen, two people who are in love. I did mention at the beginning of the movie that people would marry at that time out of interest in negotiations, you know, between two sides. It was not necessarily a love thing. Actually, love was not even involved in this. So being in love with somebody whom you did not marry was pretty normal. She went with Paris. Paris told his brother Hector, even though he didn't want his country to go to war and break the peace that his father so much desired, you know, to obtain, he decided to preserve his family because he had hopes that he could win the war. While losing a brother was inevitable, losing a war was just another possibility. He could also win the war. So in the end, you can see that this Trojan family was indeed built upon love. Everything in this movie, everything is justified by love. Helen's true husband wanted to decapitate Paris for love, for humiliation, for cheating. Hector fought against Helen's husband for the love of his brother. Then we have the moment when Hector could have gone against his own father, when his father decided to listen to the priest. Instead, because of love and respect, he went and did his best against the Greeks. He fought somebody whom he believed to be Achilles. It was in fact his cousin. May I remind the importance of Achilles out of love and respect, but we're talking about a different style of love, but yes, still love and respect, nobody would go against Achilles. And once that Achilles cousin died, nobody wanted to continue. Achilles out of love went and killed Hector. It was a very equalized fight, but then there was that damn rock. Hector's father put himself in danger and went to request Achilles to give him his son back to make a proper burial, where he mentioned that he was going to put the coins on his eyes. Am, am I blind? I, I, I swear to God I didn't see those coins. But anyways, returning back to the proof that everything was about love, he requested Achilles to give his son back so he could do the proper burial. Achilles went to fight Troy only to recover his beloved, which lead it to his death because Paris, since he loves his cousin, thought that Achilles was actually trying to harm her. He hated Achilles despite his cousin's feelings. For obvious reasons, Achilles killed his brother. And I'm saying all of this because in the end it's a bittersweet feeling. You empathize with each and every one of these characters and you're broke. I didn't want Hector to die, but I didn't want Achilles to die. But in a way, I wanted Achilles to die because that would save Troy and Hector would be alive. Hector is a good man. Hector deserves to live. Hector Hector, 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 Hector. I could say so many things about Hector. I would not stop. Honestly, for me, Hector was good king, caring for his people, caring for his wife, caring for his boy, smart. He's the whole package. Even though I didn't want Achilles to suffer, I did want Achilles to retreat. And if he wouldn't retreat, I would prefer Achilles to die just so Hector would live. But here comes the other part that I wanted to say. I must admit that I am pretty surprised, you know, of how they tried to be as accurate as possible with the movie according to the story and the legend of Achilles, Troy and all that. I loved the idea with the horse. I got so immersed in the movie that I completely forgot about the horse idea. But I admit that I don't remember the story as well as I would like to. I'm just gonna say that I've noticed some of the accuracies that have been going on, especially with the Achilles detail. My opinion about this movie is that it has been done wonderfully. Simply wanted to transmit what a forbidden love can do, how far it can go, and how grief power, glory, fame, work together for victory. Unfortunately, the Greeks won. Although there is no king anymore, there is a lord whom in reality is king of his side of Greece, but not the actual king. I enjoyed this movie a lot. I think that 300 and Troy are a one of a kind, and I liked 
even the idea you know that they're somehow connected with each other i hope that you have enjoyed this video reaction and uh thank you once more everyone for being here with me this this is something unique this is something that i'm always going to treasure but every single video that i do it's always a pleasure for me to be here and uh if i can make anyone smile or be happy at least for these moments i'm also happy thank you so much once more and see you in the next one everyone stay safe bye